COVID. We have identified 860 new cases of COVID-19 in Alberta, which raises our active case number to 8,300. There are 225 people in hospital, including 51 in ICU. When looking at all of our rural zones combined, we have crossed the threshold of 5% average daily hospital growth over two weeks. As of today, we are sitting at 7% average daily growth in the rural zones over the past two weeks. This week, as you know, we also hit the trigger of more than 50% of our COVID ICU capacity in use. We are currently sitting at 73% of those 70 beds. As the Premier has said, this is deeply concerning. In schools, there are currently active alerts or outbreaks in 307 schools. That is about 13% of schools in the province. Currently, these schools have 1,031 active cases in total. This number includes 62 schools that are currently on the watch list. So far, in-school transmission has likely occurred in 141 schools. Of these, about half had only one new case as a result. Schools continue to mirror the rise in transmission that is being seen in our communities, and this community transmission rise is putting them at risk. Sadly, I must report there have been 10 new deaths. My thoughts go out to everyone who has lost a loved one during this difficult time. This is yet another stark reminder of the deadly potential of this virus and why we must take steps to reduce community transmission. As the Premier said, the rising hospitalizations and ICU admissions are threatening our ability to deliver health services and support Albertans' overall health and well-being. We must reduce the growth of COVID-19 and we must do it soon. I know that these measures will be challenging for many people. I had the privilege of speaking with many people from some of the sectors that these new measures will impact, and I know this next while will be hard for many. I want to thank those business leaders who will be impacted by these measures, but who are working with us to make sure activities are even safer when reopening happens. I want to reiterate the importance of finding other ways to be active in the next two weeks for those whose fitness or creative activities are paused. And at the same time, every one of us must do our part to embrace the measures that the Premier just announced. If you live in an area with enhanced measures, we need you to take action immediately. Please limit your social interactions with friends, extended family and others outside your household wherever possible. Please do not have anyone who doesn't live with you over to your house for any non-essential visits. To be clear, this does not apply to blended families or shared households. It simply applies to non-essential visits in homes. These visits should not be happening right now. If you can start meeting friends or family members via Skype or Zoom, please start today. Now is the time to reduce the number of cohorts we are in and make changes to our lives to make it less likely that we will be exposed to COVID-19 or pass the virus to others. But the uh, opportunity for these measures to be effective rests in Albertans' hands. Uh, we know that many people are tired of restrictions um, and we've heard that many people are feeling a lack of hope. Um, and so what we want to do is to really focus efforts for the next two weeks and encourage all Albertans, particularly those who live in areas where we have seen that increased spread that are under the enhanced measures, we want to encourage all Albertans to go above and beyond, look at these measures and embrace them for two weeks. Because if we can put a dedicated effort into reducing our close contacts, to distancing, to masking, if we can do all of those things together, that is the opportunity to have these measures make a difference. Uh, it really does rely on everyone, all of us, stepping up and changing what we do and, and using all of our energy to try to make this change um, in this time frame, and you're quite right that unfortunately, if uh, if that's not happening, that the and the spread continues, it, we will have to be looking at other measures.